How's it going, YouTube? Maybe sooner here. Today, we're going over slings. Lloyd laughs like she just don't care. Got a red bandana and a raven hair. Sitting in the corner at the Mercury. Cowboy killers in a plain white tee. The back of the glasses and the sleeve tattoos. She's just another small town kid. Sure, she got a couple problems now, but she doesn't try to keep them hid. The kind of love it is a little like a fist fight, alright, alright. The kind of thing you never see before midnight. Girl, I know you're gonna wreck this town. Won't you tell me where to be when the walls start falling? Today we're going over four different slings that I use for my AR-15s. I don't use AK-47s or FALs or HKs or whatever, SKS or whatever, but I use AR-15s mostly for personal defense, self-defense. One of the three first accessories that you want to buy when you're purchasing an AR-15, and I'm not meaning magazines or ammunition, I mean like the accessories that go on the gun, one of them is a sling because you do not want your gun taken away from you. If the Kenosha kid had can't take it away from you. Slings are also for if you need to put the gun down for something or you want to tighten it up so you can bring that gun into you tighter for more precision shots. Now if you're not using an AR-15 and you're using something else, attachment methods are obviously going to be different but for mine, all of mine are using QD points. You can attach via HK hooks, you can attach uh, via sling swivels that are on the rifle already, you can attach via 550 cord whatever it's just you need a sling and I prefer the QD sling because they're the faster of all the other ones of getting it off of your body all the slings I'm going over today are all primarily two point slings there's one that is a you can convert to a single point but you can convert all of these to a single point if you really want to by getting a, a single point adapter tri-glide that they have out there for sale also none of these have a locking style slider some of some sliders have like a little cam on it that you have to pop up before you can adjust it and you pop it back down i don't like those because it can be quite cumbersome if you find yourself in a fight or you need to do adjusting really quickly because you got to pop it up move it pop it back in i like the quick adjust ones they're much simpler and yeah so let's get into all the different slings that we're going to go over the first sling we're going to be going over today is the Blue Force Gear Vickers Padded Sling. They have this in non-padded as well. And this one is in multicam black. I got this at Fun Guns in Waco, Texas. This is probably the most popular of the quick adjust slings out there, along with maybe like the Magpuls and the Ferro Concept Slickster and many others. There are three different adjustment points with tri-glides, plastic tri-glides, one, two, and then three here oh, there's four i'm sorry i was wrong there are four different adjustments this one is mostly for keeping the qd attachment attached here but you can help with length and shortening and getting it set up to the way you want it of all these slings the web material that's used for this sling is probably the most heavy duty i'm not saying that all the other ones are bad materials i'm just saying that this one is kind of heavy duty it's very uh it's very thick it reminds me of the belt that they gave me at boot camp for my utilities and i hated that belt but this is still it's it's very very strong it's gonna last it's very thick the cushioned area is probably the most cushioned of the slings we're going to go over today it is thick as in wide and then thick as in it's pretty fucking thick uh padding here and it's very comfortable when it's on your shoulder the problem with this pad being thick and the web material used here it's very bulky when you're trying to stow it so let me get here Usually on this gun, I stow it like this. That's that's a lot of bulk on the side there. And then if I wanted to stow it a different way, like if I was using my Neomag 
If I wanted to use it a different way, like using my Neomag sentry strap, it's very thick and sometimes the sentry strap can't get all the way around it. So this is just a very thick sling. It's very nice, but it's very thick when it comes to stowage. As you can see, I have this one set up very tight to my body when it's in the tightest it can be. This is the gun that I'm going to go to if something goes bump in the night. This is also more of a CQB type thing because it's a shorter gun and I want the gun closer to me. And if I'm going to be wearing kit, I will adjust it or I can just loosen it here. See, this is the quick, this is the quick tighten, quick loosen adjustment there. The adjustment on this is very easy. It's not the easiest of all the slings that I'm going to be showing you today, but it is very easy to adjust. On Blue Force Gear's website, the sling without any attachments is $59.95. You can find them for you can find them around with attachments already on them, and they're going to be a little bit more expensive. $59.95 on their website. There are places online. I see Primary Arms puts them on sale fairly regularly. I really like Primary Arms, Texas Company. Their optics are great and their customer service for me has been amazing. It's that time of the video when I tell you about my Patreon, my Subscribestar, and my PayPal. You can go and do a monthly subscription with me. I don't have any content on there because I hardly have any followers. I have two right now. I will start putting more content on Patreon or Subscribestar when I start getting more followers. But I think Patreon might be losing it and the fact that there's been stuff in the past. So if you don't want to do a subscription, you can send me money via PayPal. You can use my email address of NavySooner at gmail.com or NavySoonerChannel at gmail.com. You can do a one-time donation if you don't feel like doing a subscription, but it would greatly, but I would greatly appreciate any donations that anybody wants to send to me. It's really expensive to run this channel. Ammo and guns are both scarce, and when you can find them, they're expensive. Also, go check out Life, Liberty, Pursuit of Happiness on Instagram. The owner Garrett is a great guy. He's ex-Navy like me. They only have one design for their t-shirts, but it's pretty badass design for the t-shirts. And they have a hat as well that has the same kind of logo on the front of it. If you want to order anything for Life, Liberty, Pursuit of Happiness, go to their Instagram page and you can send them a direct message and order whatever you would like. The wind is starting to pick up just a little bit, so hopefully my new microphone with its little windsock thing on it stops that. Well, the next sling that I'm going over is the Morgan Made Solutions sling. This is the most minimalistic sling that we are going to go over today. It being minimalistic cuts down heavily on the price. This is the lowest price of all the slings we're going over today, and this one is $35 because it's multicam, and the multicam black one is also $35, but the regular single color ones are $25. The material for the sling is very thin and if you're going on like long missions or long hikes or whatever this might dig into your neck. If you're using a plate carrier it, you might be able to get away with getting it on the plate carrier and not digging into your neck. But there are also different universal sling pads out there online that you can purchase. I believe SKD Tactical has one but they're out of stock right now and they're uh, HSGI has one, just a bunch of different ones, and I'm pretty sure you could probably find something on Amazon. Uh, I don't typically tell you to use Amazon and buy like cheap stuff, but sometimes it's okay. You can see here where you might have an issue with it digging into your neck, but if you're not using it for long amounts of time, that's a not that's a non-issue. Obviously, I was telling you to go buy padding, so there's not any padding on this sling, but. It is very minimalist and it's very light. It's the lightest of the slings that I have here today and the adjustment on it is the easiest of all the adjustments. It just slides really easily. Out of the box it's the longest of the slings that I'm showing you and that's because uh, the owner of Morgan Made Solutions is kind of a bigger guy and he knows that bigger guys need more sling. I'm a smaller guy so I've adjusted it accordingly. I didn't say it before, but the Blue Force Gears sling is adjusting, is loosening back towards you and tightening when it goes towards the gun, just like that. And this one is like that as well. The one thing that I dislike about this sling is the pull tab is 550 cord. 
you can go out there and get other kinds of pulls on it but this is also helping keep costs low uh, it's just sometimes if you're in the heat of something it might be hard to find and grab and get it going but if you can't get it you can just pull on it too the good things about this sling are it is very light it is very easy for the adjustment and it is a very budget friendly sling to have uh, I, I would recommend this sling to anybody on a budget and in fact I put it on the good enough AR build because that was a budget build and I think Sam likes it I don't know Sam do you like it it's the morning fuck off I need coffee The next sling we're going over today is the Haley Strategic D3 sling. This sling is the most expensive of all the slings that I'm going to be showing you today, sitting at $89.99. There's a reason that is a little bit more expensive, and we'll be going into that in a second. This sling is the second lightest of the ones I'm going over today, next to the Morgan Made Solutions. Uh, the material used in it makes it very light. The pad here is the thinnest of the three padded ones I'm showing you today, but it is still very comfortable when using. It doesn't dig into my neck, although I thought it would because it's so thin, but it doesn't dig into my neck at all. The adjustment on this one is actually the opposite of the Morgan Made Solutions and Bickers padded sling. To loosen, it goes away from you, and to tighten, it brings it back to you. Now, the adjustment on this is actually kind of hard uh, when it's not on your body it looks like it's going to be easy i have it set up tight because i use this sling on this gun as well just because i wanted to keep it close to me now i can reach back and grab it and it slides away from me just fine to make it not so tight now if i'm i, have, I can't just you gotta you gotta bring your gun into your body and get it nice and tight to get it tight on you like that and I can't get it all the way back behind me if I wanted to it's still pretty tight as it is right here but it is the hardest one to adjust out of all of them now going into why this sling is more expensive than the others it comes with these QD attachments here as well as it comes with the single point conversion tri-glide here the reason that I have this sling on this gun at the moment is because when you're wanting to do close quarters combat stuff a single point sling is very good now it does dangle to the helicopter Woo! but it also gives you the option of switching shoulders very easily there are some detractors of the single point sling I think in certain situations the single point sling works great, especially like I said in CQB and you're not dropping anything and needing to do anything. With this one it's easy to adjust and go back. Now I believe Magpul slings also have a way of converting to single point if you really wanted to. People want to talk trash about single point and say oh you're being tactical. The problem that people say they have besides the dangling and it not staying close to you is it dropping and hitting you in the dick. But guess what hasn't happened to me? It hasn't hit me in the dick. At least hard enough to worry about it. And that's three. there's three reasons for that. One, I have a small dick when flaccid. Those that say it hits their balls probably have old man saggy balls and are going to need Cialis later on in their life. And three, if you're wearing a chest rig or a plate carrier, it doesn't swing enough to be able to hit somebody in the dick because you have all that padding there and it's just going to hit that and come back. Now, you might get a little further back, but I mean, I haven't had any issues with that, but I've also never been in a close quarters combat fight. The truth is, single point slings do have their merit in some places. All these slings today I'm showing you can be fitted with a single point conversion tri-glide. Things that I like about this sling is the pad is very comfortable and it comes with the single point conversion tri-glide. Things I don't like about this sling is the adjustment is really hard. And I don't know if I like the whole tightening closer to you and loosening, but I mean, it kind of makes sense if you are loosening to swim. The final sling that we are going over today is the T-Rex arm sling. Now I don't have as many rounds through this sling, but I have done enough and used it enough to be able to give an opinion on it. I have it kept here using a Neomag sentry strap. I've done a quick review on the sentry strap and I really like it. The adjustment method on this sling is both 
loosen the pull away from you, push to tighten it, but you can change it to where it is pull away from you tightens, pushing towards you loosens. It is set up from T-Rex arms as pull towards you loosens, pushing away tighten, pushing away tightens. The padded part of the sling is thin, but not quite as thin as the Haley Strategic Sling. It is fairly comfortable, but still not as comfortable as the Haley Strategic Sling. It's still comfortable, and it's still a pad. The Quick Adjust is very easy to use. Not as easy as the Morgan Made Solutions, but easier than the Vickers Padded Sling. The pull tab here is looped over material. It's not the same material as a sling. It's a different type of material. The Haley Strategic one is also loop over, but it is the same material that the sling is made out of. One issue with the loop overs is it can have a tendency to snag on things. It's just sitting there open when it's on you. The T-Rex arm sling on T-Rex arms website is $55 and it comes with these shock cord keepers here. I put them on other guns. I like them better than say a tire tube or ranger bands. The slings I showed you today are just a few of the many, many slings out there. I will say that I would go with a quick adjust, something with a pad unless you're going for short distances or wearing it for a shorter time. And if you really want a single point sling, I would get a double point and use one of those single point conversion tri-glides. Don't go with three point. The people that go with three points and think that they're better are the same people that say, I believe in the second amendment, but I'm gonna keep purchasing slings. And if there's any that you would like to see me do, uh, just throw it down in the comments down below and I'll try and get one and do a quick review or comparison with the other slings. I won't do it until I have at least four and I've put enough rounds through it. But I am gonna do another sling video eventually if I can get enough slings. Anyways, that's my video. Maybe sooner out. Yeah. Mm, get it.